Good morning, cultists. We are currently getting hit really hard with epidemics. It may seem like we only have two cases, but we actually have four epidemics. Two cases of smallpox and two cases of slow fever. I don't understand. So I've been looking up on the wiki as to um, the details behind epidemics. And it does say that uh, the outbreaks tend to happen in counties that are coastal. Which I get, you know. A lot of our territory is coastal. But it just seems to be all focused in my realm, which is really just bizarre. And I'm starting to think that maybe it's because um, tribal areas don't get hit with epidemics. It's just only feudal, and the game has some sort of like weird quota system that it has to meet with epidemics. I don't know. I don't know, but it's it's very infuriating. But um, I promise I would feel a, try to feel a little bit better <laughs> at the end of our last episode. And I guess I am a little bit. <laughs> That I've had some uh, time to breathe, but not by much, sadly. Not by much, especially since we've basically had, uh, what was it, camp fever at the start of our last episode. And then as it was starting to go away, we got hit with small fever and slow fever. Oh, sorry, it's not small fever, slow, small pox and slow fever. I can't even talk because of how enraged I am. I guess I'm still angry. <laughs> and people are trying to kill my wife, Cordelia. Unfortunate, but um, not exactly a huge priority right now. Can you guys just stop? Apparently they're willing to just stop, as it turns out. Weird that they're... ...willing to just say yes to, um... ...stopping the plot. It's very bizarre. I mean, I'm not about to kick a gift horse in the teeth here, but... It ...seems a little strange, doesn't it? I don't know. I suppose it doesn't really matter. I just want to survive these uh, epidemics, please. Right, right. So we've got a new prisoner that will ransom. Three new prisoners, as it turns out. All right, let's get you guys into the next county here. Oh, my son-in-law has snuffed it. Fantastic. Uh, so my wife is kind of old-ish. What? 125 buccaronis? No! Can we just have her dead? Can we just assassinate her? Yeah, because there's already a plot to get her assassinated or something, right? I mean, I guess we could just try joining that. Word is going around that since the epidemic came to burning peasants... Wait, which one? We have seen an increase in cats. Our people are sure that the cats are helping to spread the disease. If anything, they're doing the exact opposite. Hmm... But I do want to see what happens if we uh, do this. Oh wait, so you're talking about the sentient cats, right? And no, we will not devour our cousin. Absolutely not. Good grief. Oh no, my wife knows that I'm trying to have her assassinated. Let me try something here. So if I cancel this now... Wait, so what happens? Oh, interesting. Morgana reports that apart from sh uh, showing disapproval of their capture, most of the cats seem calm and healthy. Only a few show symptoms of illness. It is unlikely that cats are the cause. Mm, let's keep some for observation. I want to see where this uh, quest leads. Oh, interesting. So that does work. <laughs> but of course, we're going to keep up the uh, plot to get our assassinated and such. Uh, Sovix, can you become temperate? Nope, you became uncouth instead. You're dead to me, Sovix. Dead to me, straight up. When will this go away? At least it's only small po a small pox in our capital. I say only, but... Ugh. One of the examined cats seems to have taken a liking to you. A sweet meow whenever you pass by their cages, and a soft purr whenever you come close. I will call her Mittens, my new sweetheart. Oh, yeah, let's take a, a pet cat, which increases our health. So you have a pet cat and a pet dog. That could actually lead to a disaster. Because I think the um, dogs and cats tend to uh, fight each other in this game. Yeah, not just talking about the ascension ones either. Complaints about the cat will not end. An angry mob has gathered, claiming that cats are the bringers of bad luck and cannot be allowed to roam the streets. That's racism, considering that uh, there are sentient cats in this world. That is racism. <laughs> Absolutely not. Kill the source. 
You will find the meanest looking cat on the sample and execute it publicly. Get rid of all cats. Pat cat will be removed. Let me try this. Kill the source. And people are trying to kill me. Um, Pondar is no, now a fortune builder. Not bad. Can you become temperate? You know what? Just is still uh, pretty good, so why not? Who's trying to have me assassinated? It's much. Can you stop that plot, please? Is that possible at all? I mean, I guess you could have asked those uh, guys to stop back in that plot first, but whatever, it's fine. Alright, so let's get you guys split up here. Mm, yeah, stay in the coastal uh, territories, because they tend to have higher uh, supply limit. Ah, uh, there we go. Your two pets truly fight like cat and dog. You can barely sleep at night unless you lock them in separate rooms. In fear of confinement, your cat has begun hiding before bedtime. Yesterday, you spent the better part of an hour looking for it. You cannot stand this much longer. So I think there's a good chance that, um... Uh, maybe not a good chance, but if you get lucky, they can actually get used to uh, living with each other, which would be fantastic. So wait, since there are sentient cats and dogs in this world... Are these guys just, like... Enslaved? <laughs> Is that what this is? Is that what's happening? It's a pretty grim reality I'm just thinking about, or I'm just realizing here. Okay, so it's now only just three epidemics. Only, quote-unquote. Dissatisfied with my actions in the matter, the peasants have come to come with demands of not only the removal of all cats, but also additional uh, tax refunds as compensation for me neglecting them earlier. Fuck no. No, if these guys rebel, I'm just gonna cut them down. Like nobody's business. Fantastic. And uh, let's get you guys moving over there. Thank you. Oh, again? Oh my god. Alright. My reputation is not ruined. Uh, let's try to see my wife dead again. After spending lots of time with a few people, you have become positively surprised by Setu. During this difficult time, you have gotten to know and understand him well. In many ways, he compliments you nicely, and you have a good time together. Setu Habari. Who are you? Some time was just what your pets uh, needed. One day, they simply stopped fighting, and since... And since, they have become the best of friends. Now you often find them playing or snoozing together. They really seem happier. Nice. So our, uh, I guess, enslaved sentient, um... Uh, cat and dog are now, uh, are now, uh, banging each other. Fantastic. What a world we live in. Alright, let's go ahead and now uh, ransom some more people. Thank you. And is it now just the... No, it's still three separate... Three epidemics. I just can't see this slow, slow fever. But it's happening, I guess. We lost our spy master. Mmm... I'd rather not go with the unlanded folks, but Morgana's... <sighs> ...intrigue is second to none. Wait. Oh, you're backing my plot. Gotcha. I try to give them... I try to get a good night's sleep, but I am tormented by horrible recurring nightmares of our people. The pleas for help and the hurtful words begin to get to me. I hate this event. I seriously hate this event because I my characters are usually brave um, and every time this happens I have to take the option to uh, get rid of my bravery or I think if you're arbitrary it doesn't matter either um, I think if you're I think there's some traits that uh, prevent you from losing your bravery but it's like no we don't have to do anything <laughs> you're not a coward for trying to stay safe and keep your family alive from the Rampant diseases, diseases, need I remind you, that are uh, rampaging through my lands. I hate that. I hate that event so much. Anyways. <laughs> okay, let's get you guys moving on to the uh, next county over. Thank you. And three characters for 78 buccaronis. Grayscale Leo has become a fortune builder. And I would land Vanthus, but... But the rampant diseases going around, it's just not a good idea right now because the AI is just terrible at shutting the gates. No, the smallpox is still spreading? I mean, 
it's been go it's been going on for a long time now. It shouldn't still be spreading. No way. No fucking way that this is normal at all. There's an ICTA place. I'm hoping that they get a disease too. So that the uh, pressure uh, comes off us or something. I don't know. I just don't get it. <laughs> I'm still ranting. I'm so sorry. But at least now we have a lot of money. For a long while now, you have not felt the presence of the Lord in your thoughts. You are starting to wonder whether there really is any truth in the trans transcripts of the past, or if it perhaps is just an old book written by clever liars. No, let's be zealous. And we'll go ahead and upgrade our shit in the meantime. Yeah, castle fortifications. Thank, thank you. And what else? Uh, stables. Awesome. Uh, stables. We'll just build the stuff that we don't have. Sure. We can't upgrade our hospitals. Gotcha. Oh! I think it's actually starting to go away! Oh, thank goodness. Okay, we'll, um, actually build hospitals in the adjacent territories. Yeah, that should hopefully... ...prevent some, uh, dis That's not a new case, is it? No, that can't be. Say it ain't so. Better fucking not be a new case of, uh, epidemic. Wait. No, 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 it's not. It's not. Okay, it's just the, um, top layer going away. I don't know why you keep wanting to eat Apopsis. Apopsis is really old. Wouldn't you want some, like, fresh meat? I don't get it. Maybe it's just, um, uh, what's it, dragon appetites are different or something, but... If I were in, in, in um... In, uh, what's his, in, uh, Rattleskin situation, I would prefer to eat, like, young meat. I came out wrong, but you know what I mean, right? If I were to cannibalize on someone. They come from smaller farms, some with a goat or pig to sell, some with only a bushel of vegetables or fruits, others with a whole wagon of produce. The peasants sell their produce inside the city walls, but the burghers protest against it and want to forbid it. Mmm... Don't let them in, increase the local revolt risk. Yeah, you know what? Fine, whatever. I don't really care about the local revolt risk. Okay. So at least the smallpox is finally subsiding. Alright. Well, as long as our capital isn't going to get affected by um, the slow fever, knock on wood, we'll be alright. Wait, we just lost our- Oh! The fuck happened to Morgana? Wait, where'd she go? Oh fuck, I don't think I can even find her. Unless I find her son. Where is Morgana? Looking well, at someone who's... of the wrong culture here. Where'd that kid go? I'm pretty sure we had a kid with him, didn't we? Or a kid with her. Just gone? Not dead, is he? No, I'm pretty sure we had a child with her. I'm pretty sure he's not of the dragon culture either. That's very weird. I can't find any um evidence of Morgana. Uh she wasn't a ghost, was she? Or was I just imagining the whole thing? Creepy. Okay. Booper of the Wilds, I know you're batshit crazy, but let's have you be my spy master. That idea? Most likely. But maybe we'll be alright. Alright, so we're still burning these places down. Uh, let's get our boats to uh, follow them, because eventually they'll need to anyways, but for now, sure. Stables, thank you. And stables there too. Sweet. Alright, so you guys are done. Uh, truce with whom? Oh, right, right. Because they had to attack you for one of these places, right? Marshal High Chiefess Tainelf told me about her ideas. I couldn't really understand what she was talking about, but she was adamant in her belief that this would improve the military. Sure, why not? Whoa! Became a duchess. Holy shit. Oh, wait. Should we let you go? Hmm... Ah, she's too old to birth children anymore. Okay. 
Smallpox is almost over. Knock on wood. Wait. This isn't going to be one of those cases where I open up the gates and then a new disease happens and then for a full year we can't shut the gates again, is it? Because I haven't had that before. And it... It is infuriating. It is like seriously rage quit inducing. <laughs> oh god. Uh, let's see have you guys move down to there. Sure. Because that is still adjacent to our territory. Alright, so once we get you there... Why is it taking so long to get my wife killed? Listen, I just want to marry my daughter and bang her sense senselessly. What the fuck? It's taking far too long here. Not that we really need to do that, I don't think. And she still has... Oh, no, it's... I think it's because we uh, didn't let a day pass. Yeah, I think that's what's happening here. Okay. Stables have been built. Fantastic. Castle walls, etc., etc. Uh, let's go for the castle town. Still, still do with that money. Mmm, yes. But otherwise... Let's not spend too much. Let's not spend too much, I say, as we, of course, um, go broke. <laughs> Fuck me. Alright, uh, Vanthus, can you become diligent? Atta, girl. Craven. Hmm. Average rainbow. To go the martial education as well. Fantastic. And, uh... Your dedication to religious pursuits has been noticed by, around the realm. Among others, it has quite impressed Baroness Quicksilver of... Kilalo? You have maintained correspondence on various religious and philosophical matters for some time and find that you are rapidly becoming uh, good friends. Okay, so the dis <sighs> What is happening? Seriously? What is happening? Why do we suddenly have consumption the fuck? It's a good thing I didn't open up the gates, but what the fuck? What the serious fuck? What is happening? This is insane. This is absolutely insane. I seriously don't get it. You know what? Fuck it. She already knows I'm trying to get her killed. It's fine. So... Not like a day or two after the smallpox decides to subside a little bit from our territory, we suddenly get consumption to replace it. Okay, slow fever in Constantinople. Are they futile? No. Really? Maybe I'm wrong then. Hmm. Maybe for whatever reason, this area is just prone to disease. <sighs> Not that I recall. I don't recall in my other campaigns um, of um, the uh, British Isles just being constantly uh, inundated with that uh, disease and shit. So I'm a little confused. I don't understand what's going on here. Gotta say, I'm more than a little uh, uh, angry and annoyed at this. <laughs> The uh, time that I took um, to relax in between episodes didn't help at all. Because this just. This shit keeps piling up on me. This is insane. Who is this? Yeah, Burninate. Absolutely not. We will not tolerate the heretics. The diet of bread and water does not satisfy me anymore. I need something else. Something delicious and filling. That's great. Just don't try to eat, become a cannibal. I know it's difficult, but. Um, you know. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm really hoping the consumption just stays there. 10% epidemic resistance. Don't come into our territory. Alright, we'll give it like maybe a year or two. Um, and if it doesn't approach, it doesn't encroach into my uh, ter county, then, or my capital, we'll open up the gates. But I don't think we're going to be that lucky. 
No, I'm pretty sure we're just gonna be hit with that garbage regardless. Okay, let's get you guys into that boat. And what else can we loot here? Not much as it turns out. So I guess you guys can just join the other dudes in looting this place down. Fantastic, and... Got a little bit of money that we can take, not a whole lot. A few ducats. Oh, so far it seems to have somewhat circumvented our capital here, knock on wood. Mm. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm still a little skeptical. Meaty Ogre, let's have you go with... Why do you have no traits besides being a hunchback? Are you actually living up to your name of Mediocre? Wait... We have a new case of slow fever. We now have five epidemics... ...just in our realm. Slow fever, fever in Clydesdale, which happened a few years ago, fair enough. Consumption, which happened last year. Yeah, we saw that happen right before our eyes. Smallpox in Clydesdale. So, two epidemics that started from the same county. Measles in Bath. And slow fever in Somerset. So that's two counties that have had two separate epidemics happen. I... No. This is not natural. There's something going on. There's something going on. <laughs> this, this this doesn't happen. No way. No fucking way. I... I'm, a, I'm at a loss. I... I literally... <laughs> I don't know what to say. This is... Wait, why do we have suddenly have uh, fewer boats? Um... What the fuck? Is it because our people keep dying? Because we used to be able to fit everyone into the uh, boats here. Sovix has become a thrifty clerk. Mm, I don't know who you are. Get the fuck out of my face. Vanthus has become a misguided warrior. Oh, great. Absolutely fantastic. Fuck me. Mm, should we get Pluten married to one of my... Uh, Sons, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. Can't seem to get my wife killed for whatever reason. Maybe it's because we're in seclusion. I don't know. Uh, let's get you married to Piggy. Or should we? Mm. Yeah, you know what? We'll get you married to Piggy. And Vanthus is our next... Wait, really? Is Vanthus our next daughter in line? No, Benedict Frenzel. Oh, shit, I thought I got Pluten married to Piggy. Oh, I guess not. Oops. <laughs> okay, then let's get Pluten married to Condar. 20% fertility. 10% fertility. 20% fertility. We don't have any uh, genius sons, do we? Mm, Sovix, who is club-footed, has 40% fertility. War Joker has 0%. Um... I'm thinking, let's get Transylvanian married to uh, Vanthus. Either that or Kondar, whoever's got the highest uh, stewardship and martial score, I suppose. Hmm, I guess if we're going for both stewardship and uh, martial, then we should go for Kondar. Yeah, fertility's only 20%, but mm, we should be fine. Alright, so you are Pluten, let's get you married to... Since you're fairly old, let's go with War Joker. To ensure the divine purity of their bloodline, Princess Pluten and her half brother, War Joker, or Prince War Joker, have gotten married under the blessed auspices of the Lord, ensuring a fullness and order. We can collect a royal aid duty to pay for their ceremonies. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's go for it. Kind of need the money right now. And Vanthus, I'm a little. Wait. Did I not get the option to make her ambitious? Or did I just skip through that? I might have just skipped through that, actually. Oh, fuck. Well, make her my shield maiden at the very least. Um... Ah, shit. 
How do I make you my heir without... Hmm... Because I think if they're unlanded, it goes by prestige, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh no. No, it doesn't. Well, I'm a little scared about landing her. Because the AI tends to suck ass at uh, shutting the gates and all that crap. Fuck. Um... Matrilinearly, let's get you married to Pondar. Go for that sweet divine marriage. And we'll give you Oxford. Hope that nothing terrible happens to you. Knock on wood. Okay, as long as you're in seclusion with your court, just stay that way. I realize it's difficult, but, um, be your best. Consumption has broken out in... Thomond. Our realm has six epidemics. This just keeps getting worse. What the fuck? I don't understand. Uh, can I ransom you? You got a lot of money. And yeah, there you go. Right, court physician. Uh, let's go with her, because she's a mystic. Hopefully that should work out. Oh my god. Yeah, I get it. Our wife is impossible to kill. Fuck me. We could just go for a divorce, but nah, it's fine. It was this pyre. Sure, burn an eight. Why not? I'm like, there we go. Wife is dead, finally. But now, ah, shit. Hmm. All my uh, daughters are married off. For now. Average Rainbow still has three years to go. Okay, then. Let's try to get ourselves a new wife -a -roni. Doesn't have to be of my religion. Hey, do you want to get married? Oh, sorry, not matrilinearly. No. Um, I might be able to buy a favor from this guy. Yeah, and he should have to... You'll have to honor that deal once that goes through. All right, you and me, girl. Fantastic. Can I get you to convert to my religion, please? Probably not. Yeah, didn't think so. All right, fine. Okay, some more prisoners to ransom. Fantastic. And we are actually getting some loot money here. Sweet. All right, so if you're done... No, you're not quite done yet. And this place has some money to give as well. Uh, Rakshesa? No. Can't believe she's still alive though. Oh, what are you doing? Oh no, what are you doing? Shut the gates, you moron! You imbecile! What are you doing? Oh no, she opened up the gates, you fucking tool! <laughs> Why do you keep doing this? The AI is so dumb. This is why they keep dying, because they're absolute idiots. Oh god. Okay. Still have six epidemics. We haven't been able to open up the gates in like... How many years now? It's insane. Okay, consumption and measles in Thalmond. Okay, here's the thing. So, if this keeps happening for the rest of the campaign for like a few episodes, I'm done. <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna be able to uh, live with this kind of stress. I'm done. <laughs> we're, we're not gonna continue this campaign because this is just bullshit. <laughs> Fuck no. Oh my god, we're not gonna live in seclusion for the rest of the, uh, enti for the entirety of this campaign. Th that's not a challenge, that's just straight up bullshit. <laughs> oh god. Besides this, all the epidemics are just in our land. <laughs> I don't, I don't, e I don't even know. I'm losing it. I'm losing my mind. I'm seriously losing it. Okay. Uh, let's go find someone to rule over these counties, please. 
So who do we got? Um, garbage is what we got. Let's go with you, Scorch. I shall give you the County of Ossery. And I will make you the Duke of that place. Yeah, sure. Rostvania. And we also need to give away uh, Greater Starzia. I mean, I am within my domain limit, but I have um, one too many duchies, I think. Which is obviously a big no-no. So, there you go. Oh shit, I need to give you the duchy too, don't I? I need to give away Gauri too? Oh, right, that's why I'm below my um, domain limit. It's because I give away, Ox give away Oxford. Uh, Rakshasa. I'll give you Gaur. And since you would actually make a decent um, Chancellor, I'll give you Greater Starzia. Enjoy. Okay. Well, let's end the episode off here for now. We'll come back tomorrow. Um, see if you can't survive these rampant epidemics that are just happening unnaturally in our uh, realm here. And uh, we'll see how things go. But, yeah, I... I, I <laughs> we can't keep this up. This is too much. We've been in seclusion for um, almost the entirety of, yeah, two episodes now. Actually, yeah, we have been in, in, in um, seclusion for over two episodes now. And this is insane. But hopefully our uh, luck will change, but we'll see. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.